Hi, Dave Snyder here. It is May the 6th, 2013, and uh, i got a good overlay for you here, I think. I was working on this. This is actually one that I did, I don't know, it's quite a ways up here on my list. So I put it down a while ago. Uh, i got to find it here first before I can do anything with it here. Um, it's probably right here. So it's a good ways up my list. You can see this is a really long list, actually. So this, I mean, this this right here is like a couple years worth of work here. Just these, this from here to here is a couple years worth of work. So if you figure this to here, you know, it's been a while. And it's a little bit, it seems a little bit small. This is not the full moon. This is not the whole moon. This is just the south pole of the moon. So this is not, and even if it was the full moon, it would still make it 5,000 something miles across, right? This is a reversed image of the south pole of the moon overlaid over North America. Now this is a little different. I didn't have it set like this this whole time. I just noticed this morning that uh, I had Florida. Here's here, let me just show you here. Okay, Florida is right here, right? Okay. Well, I had I noticed this. Uh, this was just a little bit over this direction, and I noticed that if I put it over there, it looked like everything else would pretty much uh, go right into place there. So when I put Florida over this area here, or this over Florida here, this see that right there? Okay, I noticed this crater here, and in the center of it, being right here. And I and I'm pretty sure, I I know what I'm seeing here. This must have been some type of mountain or something that created that crater. It, this is the center of that of that crater, right here. This part right here just falls happens to fall into place. That you got you got the whole shape of the of the uh, coastline here. And I and I'm telling you, this one is so good. These all these little uh, craters and lines, except for this area here. And I I haven't really looked over this really close this area, but it, I mean everything else. I mean look at the Great Lakes. Check this out. Watch the Great Lakes right here. Look how this falls. Here, it, sometimes it's, look at look at Superior up there. Okay, and then and, and check out this. Back it off a little bit. Just take a look at the curve of, of these lakes right here and, and Lake Michigan right here. And then I'll zoom in afterwards. Look, look at that, people. Look at that shape. Right over the Great Lakes, right there. Okay? And then you can take a look at this curve here that comes down like this, and right here. You can see that in, in North America, right there. Look. Comes down. Curves this direction. It's, I mean, the Great Navels just zoom into the Great Lakes. Check this out, right here. Look at Lake Michigan, right here. Right, watch this crater. Perfect size. It's the perfect shape. Look at this. Look at this crater here. This little crater right there. Watch where it falls. Right there in that little spot that you see. Right there. Look. Right here. Something happens there. It looks different than the rest of it. Look at that. It's perfect size. Everything. I know this is a little pixelated. This picture, but that's what they give us. It's what we got to work with. And look where it centers, people. Look where it centers at the 33rd degree latitude line. Where I'm finding that a lot of them are centering at that at that line. I'm serious. And at the south, the southern 33rd degree latitude uh, latitude line too. So, in the southern hemisphere. So that's that's uh, pretty common now. I, I I just started I just started paying attention to that recently and. You know, because 33 is that number. You know, the, the, there's got to be an important reason why the Freemasons use that as their like most important, highest level. And I and I bet you that's not even their highest level, but the, it's an important number regardless. 33, we all know that's an important number to the Illuminati. And you know, you, you can think that the Illuminati don't exist. You can think whatever you want, but there's something to the 33 number for sure. Absolutely is because I mean, this is not the only one that centers on the 33 degree line okay not the only one got Asia I mean I was watching a video earlier checking out the ley line you know trying to trying to do some research on the ley lines and all that stuff and I watched this one where they had this line come right through here right through right through Asia right here and it, it was right here this line came right across here and that's the mark right there for the 33rd degree line right there I was I mean it was a video I, I just happened to glance up and see that that they were showing something and they had the line coming right through here Boom, and it hit that line, it hit that spot perfectly. And I got, I mean, I have that overlay up here. And that's just something I was working with yesterday. Oh, I should show you that. While I'm in the area, I should show you this. Okay, 
I should turn that off first, though. Now nah, I gotta go all the way down here and shut it off. All right, I gotta go back up and find this. Hold on a second. Right around here somewhere. Looking for the letter N. I tried to title it something else, but it just there it is. Okay, so here's uh, North America. Like I pointed out before, over the top of the Sahara Desert and Europe. Okay, this this was here. Either that, either this was on top of the Sahara, or the Sahara and in England was on top, or Europe was on top of North America. Either the, uh, the third choice would be that they were created in the exact same place, the exact same way, same shape. I mean, in, because this area, the whole Western United States right here is the exact same shape as you see the Sahara right there okay now I've checked this how I confirmed this is I turned on the weather yesterday I hope the weather it will do me right right now when I turn it on because yesterday it was it was it was great yesterday so here we go weather today come on weather don't let me down come on there it goes okay it's not as good as it was yesterday but I'm sure you know this. This weather is still going to show us something. It should regardless, I can leave this here and I can check it at another time, and it will show you something. I mean, I've seen it a lot of times. I just every time I tried to make a video, the video never went up or something because the rest of the video didn't turn out or something like that. You know. But anyways, yesterday this, there was weather right here that was just you could see right here. It was just hugging this. It came in like this. It curved in and just hugged this coastline right here perfectly. And then all the way down just to the line right here you see. And it was just perfect the way it came in like this. And, and then you see these ones up here. There was some that were going across like this that would just fit perfectly in here. And I've seen enough already, not just that weather yesterday, but a lot of weather in this area that I've when I've checked it and guaranteed that this, they sh they, the weather here in this area, has shaped, has helped shape North America, somehow, okay, exactly how, I couldn't tell you exactly how, but, let's check this weather up here, look at this, oh, we should, look at that, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you weather, look at, look at Alaska up there, see how this whips out, look at this, watch, this is great, thank you very much. I mean, you can see how this fits up here in North America, right here. Look at this. I'm not saying it's perfectly aligned or anything like that, but look how it fits. Just look how that fits up there in Canada. Okay. You can see this is this is a big circle right here up in Canada. They call that the Great Slave Lake right in the center. Okay, right here. I mean, it's like a big circle. You can tell it's some kind of you know crater impactor. It was a mountain that was him that was pushed down by the moon or something as it impacted. Look at how it fits around Lake Hud or the Hudson Bay. Look at this. It stops right there, and you can see. I mean, people. I, I can show you this every day, and and there will be weather here that will just amaze you. I mean, it's this is ancient weather. This is ancient North American weather you're seeing right here, right now, at this very moment on the Earth, in this video. Okay, this is live streaming weather on the Earth, over the Sahara, over Europe. Not in America. I mean, America is over here, of course, where we started, up here. Oh, look at that weather fit that, too. Huh, I haven't even tried that with the weather yet. That's something. Check that out. That's pretty neat. Okay, we'll check that out in a minute. But anyways, like I said, this is weather right here. And let's just check it real quick. Okay, and fade this out that's where the weather is in the Atlantic mostly but you can see, look how it fits look how it fits Alaska right there the whole Gulf of Alaska you can see the whole curve right there and it's not coincidence it is absolutely not coincidence no way that every day it would show that and not be what you know what something something regarding what I'm saying I mean I I don't I, like I said I can't explain it exactly how what happened but I can tell you right now that uh, the pyramids in Egypt. You got the pyramids in Egypt, which is right here. Here's Egypt, right up here. Okay, or the pyramids in Egypt, right up here. Okay, and here you got this. You got the pyramids in in uh, Mexico. 
right there. Real close. I mean, they're in the same. They're, they used to be part of the same continent during the supercontinent or something because this connects them to them. It absolutely does. It connects it all together. The oil in the Gulf. The oil in the Gulf. I don't know how how it would be over there. I mean, it's that's the part that gets confusing that I'm not going to even try to explain. But I mean, I I guess I I try to sometimes, but I. I mean, I don't know. I can't tell you because I'm not a geologist or whatever, and and I'm not saying that would even help because geologists do not know this. I don't think. Either if they do, then they don't tell us. I mean, look look at this cur Look at how this, this weather just kind of dots along this line right here, and I've seen it come in so nice one time. Oh man, I got a video about it somewhere too that I haven't uploaded somewhere. I got still on my. See this? See this line that comes right down here to a point and comes back this way. You can kind of see this line, like this. I seen that filled in perfectly one day, just perfect. I mean, it was no no question. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so anyways, I'll leave this here. It's been here for a while. I've showed it in my videos already before. And look at look at this weather up here. Fit just look at this part right here. Oh, hold on. Weather. Look at how that fits up there. And I know if you live in this area, you recognize this, these shapes of this weather. I know if you live up in this area, which I don't know how many people live up in this part of Canada, but um, you'll recognize you recognize the shapes of that weather. I know you do. I know you do, because because this used to be here together at one time in in Earth's history. I, I'm sure of it. They were either on top of each other or created in the same place. I don't see any other way around that because I mean if this is what the earth really looks like like I said a bunch of times that's what you get because those were definitely together and the weather will prove it on a daily basis so anyways back to this let's just check out up here up north where you got this crater here happens to fall right into that little cove you see here and I got another one another alignment of the South Pole of the Moon over here off the coast that is another absolute impact different impact than this one actually but it's, it, it, it comes it goes to about the 33rd degree line too right around there okay so anyways uh, let's see what these other ones show us all, all these little craters will show you something every one of them Right here in the center, or right here. I mean, they all show something very good. So I'm just going to leave it at that instead of make the video real long. You can just take the cent the south pole of the moon, right? Reverse it, get a picture with this grid on it if you can. That helps sometimes. And just uh, center that sucker right there, right around the 33rd degree line, right there in Texas. It looks like right here in Texas. Check it out, because I'm sure this goes here. Absolutely positive. And it's, it's you know, I mean, look at look at this, look at all these all this stuff. If you look at it closely, put it down yourself. You'll you'll see what I mean. I, I was I was most interested in this part up here, California, where but in the area where I live, where right by Clear Lake, this nice bright spot right here, this shiny white spot here I don't know what if but I know gold comes from the moon people so I mean that's why I'm saying that and I just happen to know that the, right here by Clear Lake the McLaughlin mine pulled out four million ounces of gold right in that area I just happen to know that and this like this black spot right here is right by where I live this this would be Mount Diablo that would create that that crater there I would think I guess that's a crater. You just got to go through it closely. I mean, I, I've gone through it pretty well. And you're not going to be able to see it on your screen unless you do it yourself. So that's why I recommend you do it. Oh, look at this. Huh. Beautiful. Right here. See this See this round part right here, the circle? If you have a big screen, you're, you're going to see it. But if not, you probably won't. That circle right there, check it out. It is right over the top of that. Right there. Same size. Same location. Same line right here. See this line right here? Same line. It is just, this is just like one of the best overlays I have done. I mean, it's, it doesn't look like it's much, it looks like much, but if you go over, go through this, you'll find a lot of stuff in this one. 
a lot of stuff even though they don't show you very much in these images but I mean look at this you see the shape like like right here this big circular shape that is so there see that Grand Canyon up there I'm seeing a big crack some kind of some kind of, of something right here a ridge or something right here and then you got this there's Vegas or something right there right in that area I mean, I see something right there where the Grand Canyon, right there too, yep. Something there. So anyways, these craters right here represent some big mountains up there, in, up north, right there. There's right there in place. That's a good one. Great Lakes are just amazing. That's, that's incredible right there. Great Lakes. That is so, so perfect. I never, I've never gotten the Great Lakes that good before, ever. There's the, right here, you see this crater here with that little, there he is there, nice. Oh, and all down here, the Yucatan Peninsula, where that crater is, I see a crater right there, but it should be a, you know, you see all the salt domes up here, you can see all that. I mean, you just go through it, so I don't have to make it any longer. Check it out yourself, 33rd degree line, all the way around. Look at that, I marked, I marked a bunch of them. Here's the center of the Hawaiian Island chain falls right on the 33rd degree line. And if there was an impact, it would be like right here, you know, right around there. So anyways, there's uh, Japan's 33rd, that's where they fall on the 33rd degree. Uh, China, right in the middle of the Tibetan Plateau. Asia, I got one that centers perfectly right there, perfectly. And uh, wow, these ones over here as well. Oh, this is the one. That, yeah, that's where. The, that's cool. So this is where it would have been at the time. So if I brought that one, did I just put up over there, over here? Who knows how that would fit? I mean, it, it would just bring something together. It, it always does. So, anyways, have a good day. Check it out. It's, the Earth is a puzzle, and it has not been finished yet by 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 us. I mean, maybe the, the I'm sure there are scientists that have figured most of it out right because I mean that's how that's how they found the gold that's how they found the oil in, in the old days that's what they that's how they know it's you know too late for us to get any gold but you know it's still fun to fun to check it out so have a good day until next time keep your eyes on that moon if you can I'm telling you if it starts looking close like it's getting closer it probably is all right